In part three of our Build an Intranet um, series, we're going to be looking at building the document library, the main document library that sits behind your intranet. I'm definitely very, very lazy and I like I'm simplifying things. So I don't build lots of libraries, I build one. And uh, this library is going to be used to store your policies, your procedures, work instructions, forms and templates, all those documents that you want to share on the intranet um, with your team. So I'll be going to the um, settings wheel on the right hand side and uh, I'm going to go and say add an app and uh, this main document library I'm going to build I'll be calling um, the brain I like the idea of that so TB the brain and uh, I'm going to create this I always use acronyms when I create apps so um, once I can see that in my site contents I'm going to be going to the settings to first just rename it and uh, when it comes to um, my um, libraries and apps I built, so the brain, I always put in um, purpose. I'm not going to add all of that now. And then who's the main owner of this as well? So if there's any inquiry, so always put in a purpose of this app. So that's going to be for all my policies and procedures. And uh, then who's the main owner of that? And once this is built, remember in the previous uh, um, session, we... Um, built lookup lists remember so once that's built i'm going to be adding the columns for that because i want to categorize my content using metadata so the first one i am going to build is department and because i've already built the custom list i can build this as a lookup and then um, as soon as i say lookup i can then go and choose the app that i want to point to so this is lookup list departments and very important always point it to the title not the id otherwise you're going to have one two three in that list I'm not going to make it compulsory yet. I only make fields compulsory once I'm ready to launch the intranet because it's a bit painful when you start loading a lot of content and you've got to populate all that metadata. Then the second column I'm going to add, of course, is my um, other lookup list that I've created, which was document type. So document type. Uh, again, I'm going to select lookup. I'm going to choose the lookup list for document types. And again, I'm going to choose the title column, not the ID column. I'm not going to make it compulsory for now. We can definitely come back to that. Something else that I also build on my libraries are um, things like um, document owner, um, next revision dates and things like that. So let's just quickly add document owner. Because this is um, my like very controlled documents library, it's important that I bring in things like document owners and things so that I can run appro approvals later. So document owner is going to be a personal group that I pick for each document who's responsible for it. And then the next column I'm going to add is, a, and, and this is going to be interesting for you. So I'm going to add something called revision cycle. And this is going to be a number, which means that someone can say that this must be reviewed every three months, which is 90 days, or every um, year, which is 365 days. So zero decimals, and it's going to be a number. And then what I'm going to also add is a calculated column to determine the next revision date. So revision date is going to be a calculated column. And now I can say take modified date for me and add for me that revision cycle. So it'll take the last modified date and add the days that I added. And then what do I want to return the value as? I want to return it as a date and time. So there we go. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to the library and I'm going to just test the theory. Once that document is added, I can then select the document and go to the details pane. And on the right hand side, you'll now see there is my department. I can say that this is a human resources policy. The document type I'm going to say is a policy. And a document owner, of course, Brahm is uh, responsible for all the fancy documents. And then revision cycle 365 because um, policies get reviewed once a year. And there you'll see the properties. So if I go back, you'll see that um, when I create my views that then shows the next revision date, well, there you can see it. It says, when must this document be reviewed by? So there we've created the control documents library with the properties for department, document types, document owner, revision cycle, and revision date. Catch you uh, for the next video clip where we'll be looking at um, creating the FAQs list that we're going to use on our intranet.